Okie doke. Now we've got all the uh, parts uh, sent off to the engineers, uh, which, uh, you know, was a priority. Then uh, we're now going to turn our attention to the gearbox, which is still, as you can see, in the cradle. And uh, so we're going to be removing the gearbox from the cradle and then dismantling it uh, and you know, checking everything uh, uh, when it's apart. Um, our main problem with dismantling is that we're going to have to remove the, the rear sprocket, but we need to lock it to stop it turning. And we need to find a way of doing that when it's out of the bike. And at the same time, we've got a nut on the end of the main shaft, which also needs removing. Again, we need to find a way of locking the uh, gearbox. So uh, the basic plan will be just to take the gearbox out of the cradle, which in our case is just held on. There's only one bolt left holding it on. All the top bolts have gone. Um, now, uh, and so I'm sure it'll come out easy because obviously, you know, there's, there's nothing else in the way. Um, what I do know about these uh, gearboxes is the, the later the model, the easier they are to get out of the, um, of the engine plates. So, uh, you know, but this, this will come out, but I do know you have to turn them a certain way, you know, to line up with it, with the cutouts, uh, in, in the, in, in the sort of frame, um, to, to get them out. Um, but you know, this, this one won't be a problem, but, uh, apparently early models can be, I've not done one, but they can be apparently very difficult to get the gearbox out. And I think basically they made this hole, uh, they made this hole, uh, in the frame bigger and bigger uh, as the years went by. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to take the gearbox out, then we're going to take the outer cover off. Um, normally, it would be easier to take the other outer cover off with the gear lever attached because the, that comes off with the outer cover. And so you can use the gear lever to grab hold on to, but of course we haven't got it, it wasn't given to me. Um, so that might be a slight problem. Uh, then we're going to try and lock the uh, gearbox sprocket, the final drive sprocket, which will enable us to undo that nut. Then, with that still locked, we'll then try and undo the nut holding the sprocket on. And then we'll be able to take the rest of the gearbox apart without too much trouble. That's the plan. Okay, uh, so we're just going to undo the remaining uh, mounting bolt for the gearbox and uh, see if we can remove the gearbox from the cradle. Uh, I've got a uh, 716's width on this side and as seems to always be the case on this bike anyway uh, I've got uh, a three-quarter UNF on the other side uh, you know there doesn't seem to be two two nuts the same although the thread the thread must be the same so whether it's Whitworth thread or UNF thread I don't know so why the nuts are that size I don't know right let's just check I've got some uh, Get one undo. I think I'm going to, oops. Undo. Okay. Yeah, check one undo. Medium power. I think that's all we need on this one. And off it comes. Let's put that aside for now. Okay, right. Then I'm just going to try and waggle the gearbox out of the cradle. Uh, one thing I've just remembered is, of course, I haven't yet uh, drained the oil out of the gearbox. I'm fairly sure it'll be full of oil. They generally are. Um, so I'm hoping it won't uh, leak out of anywhere whilst I jiggle it about. Look how well I've got to, I don't know what I say. I know you've got to turn it a certain way to get them out. I'm not sure which... Which way that looks like that looks promising, yeah, yeah, sort of diagonal like that with the two. I'm trying to move it so it doesn't leak over because there's, I don't know if you can see that, there's the two sort of lugs, you know, which makes it quite a you know, sideways gearbox. And those two lugs line up with the two cutouts there and there. Oops, turn it the right way up. I don't want oil pouring out. I'm assuming there's oil in it. And then um, we've got the uh, uh, the cradle 
uh, and the swing and arm. I'm going to put those aside for now. We'll come back to those because obviously we've got to take the swing and arm off. We've got to get rid of this um, seized in um, isoelastics unit. And that's all got, going to be repainted and, and done up as well. But I'm going to put that aside for now and uh, concentrate on the gearbox. Okay, so I've got a quarter width to go on this drain bolt, which hopefully doesn't mean over tighten too much. There we go. It's got a fibre wash on there, which I'm just going to take off for the sake of argument. There we go. And then we'll see what oil we do have or don't have in the gearbox. pretty thick anyway so yeah there's oil in there but it looks uh, very old and not much of it <clears throat> but the good news is there's no bits of metal or anything in there which is uh, you know what you might be uh, afraid to find right I've been draining the oil out of the gearbox and I don't know how well the camera's picking this up but you can probably see flakes of uh, sort of bronze flakes in the oil looks a bit like it's metallic paint so that would suggest that there is a bush uh and probably is a phosphor bronze bush i think in the gearbox uh yeah, it looks like something's been wearing anyway so it's always uh <laughs> it's a bit like looking at elephant dung or whatever you know it's always good to look at the oil that comes out because that often tells you a lot about what's happening inside so it uh, could be a problem with one of the bushes in there.